Alrighty, we are back home. Let's, uh... I am actually dangerously low on food. Ugh. Uh, where's my bowl? There's my bowl. Eat. Oh, that didn't fill me up as much as I thought it would. Okay, uh, backpack. There we go. We can put the... gems back into there. And we want to plant these. I need these two to repair the thing, so we're going to do that. A little bit of organization, and I want to pick up my sifting bowl as well. Because I'm going to do a little bit of sifting. Um, so first things first, let's dump that off. Then I want to dump those keep these on me uh probably should lay that inside but let's do that real fast there we go get that over here um that's fine i don't know why doors are closing on me but that might be one of the mods that i installed that automatically closes doors i guess because otherwise i have no idea why doors keep closing on me There it is. <laughs> they automatically close. That's really eerie, actually. Um, I don't know. There is a uh, a hotkey combination I can use to uh, forego that. All right, that can go do its thing. This one's probably done by now. Yup. Stuff from the moose that I saw. killed. I don't. I think I recorded that actually. That's fine. We need a little bit, a little bit more leather anyway. So I'll seal that in. How's the compost doing? Jesus, twelve point three days. Like that's how long everything packing takes in this game. <laughs> uh, let's see. We can dump the gears right there. We will dump. Let's see if the fat that's in this one, I believe. Yep. Uh, I want to pick this one piss me because we're going to do a little bit of sifting. I probably won't record that. I just want to show what happens when you get through a teleporter because I have never done that before. And chalk stone, that's my phone. Don't worry. I don't know if you heard it. It's basically just an automated message. Uh, make a bit of food because that is actually of use. Oh God, okay, that's really annoying. It automatically closes doors. Um, definitely gonna, if if I can, gonna disable that. Um, there we go. Right. Put that into. Oh, uh, that into there. Grab. Um, another quality of a life mod that I think I need, which is uh, the one that ma maintains stack heat or something like that. Alright, so, hold on. Um, bookmarks, vintage story, Chuck Stability, Red was what War, Half an Hour, Dana Tweaks. Uh, Okay. Full sub drifters open doors. Okay. There's a lot of crud in here. That's fine. So it's something I need to get used to. Um, not gonna do that now. Let that cook. Let him cook. Let's check on the eggs. See where we're going over here. We got still one day. I don't think it really is working that well. This this chicken coup. I might need next one. Just make a flat one. All right. Uh, the flax is not really growing as fast as I'd hoped because it's still at 
Okay, that one's done. And that one is... They're all populated, so I might as well gather this one. Got some more angry bees. Not the bees. Yep. Let's see. Probably want to make um, marked chests at some point. Love I said I would only, you know, start recording again once I would reach a point where it was useful for me to record again. Here we are. Alright, got a couple of skips. And take one. Put that one back. We can put that in there as well. There we go. Cool. Still angry bees around? Doesn't look like it. There we go. And this is still at a solid six. Yeah. Probably want to moisturize it real fast. So really want to do that daily. So if, if it is at 50% like growth speed, I'd guess it's going to take at least three more days for this to grow. Or six more days. Um, unless I find fertilizer, which I find highly unlikely. Um, so I suspect it will be at least three to four more days. Um, which kind of sucks, to be honest. Not ideal, but I don't really have options for fertilizers. Well, I know some fertilizer, but it's in a scary deep tank cave. <laughs> Alright, um... <laughs> Yeah, we're on the cusp of so many little things. It's kind of hilarious. Um, how, uh... <laughs> it's just that waiting game. <laughs> like, getting your crops to grow. Just doing a little bit, a lot of maintenance work. Um, can I please pick up the pork? There we go. What do we got? Five pieces. That's not a whole lot. I should have... That's red meat. Didn't I have... Wait. So, that is nearly fully perished. So let's just keep... Let it, let it perish. It's fine. Um, it can't recover linen sacks, right? That would have been nice, actually. No. Shame. Shame. Got some chicken eggs. Nice pot of food. <laughs> can I... Oh, yeah, so I... Can I... No, I don't think I can. Definitely did not want to pick that up. We're going to go, by the way, into the thing tomorrow. I want to have a full day ahead of me before I'm going to commit to that one. That's eating. Yeah, honey and beeswax for days now when we're working with six different scabs. You know what? I'm going to shift some stuff around. You can go into here, that's fine, because I actually do have this little crate, so why don't I keep my valuables in there, as well as the candles, because that is what I consider a valuable bone. can go into the bone crate. We're going to plant this real quick. Put that in there, and then, yeah. That will sleep because that's the fastest way to uh, pass a long time. This definitely doesn't grow fast enough to keep up with our bee production. Um, that's fine. I think for now I have enough, really. So. Just that I want to get the halfing hammer done before I'm going to make anything else out of metal. 
Almost there, boy. Almost. God, can't wait. Rotate the grains, make a lot of plates out of the coppers, and ooh, it's gonna be good. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, eat, sleep, rave, repeat. There we go. Probably have to configure the uh, mod that do, does a lot of the tweaks because the it's mostly for the auto panning that I want to use it. Because panning is just a hassle to do, and auto panning just makes it a lot easier. You know what? Maybe I should bring armor just to be sure. And, uh, because I have no clue where I end up. Like, you get, you could teleport four meters into a wall because then the connected link is there. Uh, you could teleport hundreds, maybe even thousands of blocks away. So, there we go, repair. It is an expensive repair. There it is. Warping space-time. I have no idea what to expect. I should have brought a shield. Okay, we are definitely in its in its connecting partner ruin. Cool mask. Get some more rusty gears, that's good. Uh Okay, please look at a chiseled block first. What do you mean? Oh, that might be my auto chisel thing. Oh, we got a tuning cylinder and some brown coal. Uh, that is a closed crate. Okay, so that doesn't empty, empty. Um, ruined shelf got ruins. That's sort of what I'm expecting from most of them. Oh, huh, we got lucky, I guess. Closed plate rack. Um, I don't really, I'm not here to repair it a whole lot, so I just want to grab the crates because I know I can use them. Um, under that, I have very little intentions here. Metal barrel, Got some more storage here. Something here that's blocking. Kind of afraid I'll break my pickaxe before I got this entire room cleaned up. There's definitely um, more cave nearby so we where are we actually okay we're in a completely different area that is uh a sizable chunk away um so that's pretty cool actually all right let's just break the whole lot pick up the chunk metal Harvest that, harvest that. Alright, so... I can hear... stuff... everywhere. There we go. I knew there were fuckers there. They're actually slightly below me, interesting. Now, I might be super deep into the wall, I have no idea. Or into the uh, ground. Hmm. <laughs> 
not a whole lot of gear, so I like the, uh, the mask, though. Where would I put that? There we go. We're a marketeer now, which gives us some extra temperature protection as well. Okay, I was kind of afraid of doing that, but it looks like it was not a bad idea. Not entirely. Um, yeah, so these are some high tier drifters that are present here. They were only a little bit higher. Oh, there we go. If we can trick them to go up on that piece there, I can hit them a bit easier. So they're killing each other because they fuck up rock throws. Yeah, we might actually get some good harvesting out of this one. A, there's a mod that actually adds health bars. Or is that... I don't even know if that's a vanilla. It might be, I don't know. It would be right nice right about now. I don't think I can shoot downwards. A little bit annoying. Keep killing each other. Thank you. Oh, I've got a backpack equipped. Apparently hold on control and backpack is not a great idea. Hmm. Can I get you to move over one block? I think they're all dead. Nice. Alright, let's see what we can harvest from here. One rusty gear. This was a worth it so far. Now the higher tier that they are, the higher the chances that they drop temporal gears and stuff like that. So Killing these guys is actually just a really good idea. Now there are several other methods of making it easier to kill them. You can make like a sort of low kill box because I believe they can never uh, uh, go. There we go. Got already one temporal gear back. They can't go into one high blocks, but you can use your sword uh, or a bow. Oh, got some copper here. That's pretty nice. And a lot of quartz. Basalt rock. I have no idea how deep I am right now, which is my biggest worry. Peri Perido. High grade Perido. I believe it's a gem, if I remember correctly. Whoa. Pay attention. The higher grade does mean that they do hurt a lot more and have more health. And yeah, that's the risk that you run. Uh, I don't know how much they will fuck with your armor, though. Yeah, a lot, apparently. I wasn't even hit that much, and it just completely destroys it. <laughs> it is fairly close by, so it's not that problem. Oh, okay, nice. Got some blue flowers. Nice. Flax is just I, I completely unrelated to what we're doing. Flax is such a beautiful plant. Uh, has a very, very nice blue flower on it. Um, and I think we should spend more time around flax. <laughs> Problem is... Um, don't know if I can get my stuff back without getting... Okay, yes I can. Good. Getting my ass handed to me. Quickly mine a copper while, you know, while I'm here. Um... God, it hurts a lot. The Falx is pretty good, though. I uh, probably want to get out of here. Yup. Shit. 
All right, let's just grab our stuff, get out. But it's a good cave to explore once we get armor, because uh, right now it's just, uh, you know, we get three shot by these fuckers. I don't, don't even have a shield with me, which I probably should have brought, but then there's the light problem. I really should look into a, a solution for that. Other than just placing torches willy-nilly around me constantly, which might be the way to go, actually. I haven't really done any spelunking. Now that I think about it, the idea of building into a mountain is actually a really bad idea. Uh, partially because of the drifter problem that we'll be running into. Um, I kind of want to continue exploring, though. Um, see if we can get any saltpeter. Okay, this doesn't lead anywhere. Oh, maybe it does. There's a lot of copper here that we want to get copper. I do want to grab the peridote. Medium grade. Eh, we'll stick it in there. Uh, I want to see if I can make a high grade. We'll, we'll grab that real fast. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I don't need to waste wooden slabs. Kind of hoping that, yeah, I can do a jump like that. So that's actually quite a neat little safety trick. And we're back here. Good. Okay. You can see everything loading in by game lagging. All right, but that's an interesting little spot. So we've got a pretty large copper vein there. So it might be that's fairly deep underground. So we have like a large copper vein, which will be useful if we want to start mining there. Uh, but it doesn't mean I need to light up the place with some lanterns and block off some stuff here and there. And there's quartz there. That's actually kind of kind of great spot to be honest uh yeah i'm really happy definitely worth the uh three temporal gears we spend on it that isn't sarcasm actually for once it isn't uh let's see metal scraps i don't think i can do anything with this green for scrap weapon kit temporal butcher box okay meat preservation add the portal gives the power okay great eye and black die i definitely want to keep that then if i want to make the um <gasps> yes ah that's so beautiful Apple blossoms. Yeah! Oh, I need to make a screenshot of this real fast. Oh, please, just... <sighs> there we go. Oh, and I've got my interface open now. Uh, close to... Oh, that's me. There we go. I've got my... What? Oh, for fuck's sake, game. There we go. Now it's having the wrong thing. There, it's the wrong screen. This game doesn't play nice. At times, it's really annoying. It tries to screenshot I, I, by my OBS. I don't have. Hold on, I don't know how much fucks with OBS. Ah, uh, okay, it's in the recording. It should be fine. Hopefully. Um, right, let's clean up a little bit. I'm kind of surprised that these Perido... Oh, wait. But that said high grade and it became a low grade one. How the fuck does that even work then? We can set these up right there. Let's see, you got some native copper chunks. Temporal gear will drop into, well, I don't know, here. So that is also, that's a music thing. There's a valuable a lot more than what that is. Put a thing there.
and stack some stuff into that. Don't really need the Ashlar blocks, but we'll keep them anyway. Um, right. Add some of these metal chunks somewhere already. Yep, there we go. We can add this one in there as well. I have a coal chest now, so that's probably a better spot to drop it. I'll dump the diamond there. I don't really care much for it. Blocks can go there. Really want to organize this at some point. Brown coal can go into here. Native copper chunks can go into there. Uh, there is my charcoal thing. So, can you make a... So you can make your own crates. Um, huh. I can make an open and closed version. Can you... Come over with a part to be able to draw the contents on it. A small scraped hide gives you parchment or linen fiber pulp, which you made from clean bandages, which you can't. Yeah. Some, if I had some old clothing, I could do that. We we'll probably want to do that eventually. So crates are actually pretty good if you get large quantities of storage going. <laughs> um, let's eat this. Reorganize my hotbar into what it's supposed to look like. There we go. And yeah, I'll go and see if that auto panning mod works. So the idea is, as far as I understand, you stack it up around you. And then you right click once with the panning bolt. And you should start panning. And it should just automatically grab the... Oh god, see, that doesn't work. That's kind of annoying. Uh, let's see. Uh, it might not be inner. Auto padding, yeah. There's a hotkey to toggle auto padding. Default is control X. That's Windows key X, because I'm a dumbass. Auto panning enabled. So this should then... Wait. What the, what the fuck? <sighs> uh... You need to place box in advance. It checks for all panelable blocks in a five block radius. Uh, let's see. But H, if I hit H and unpause, the guy shakes the pan and never pans anything. Okay, so I don't think it actually works as it should be, because it should then. Huh. It's a hotkey to toggle auto panning. Dana tweaks, but uh, this is why I find it annoying when it doesn't work. Um, stepping in and out of the water, pretty much any jiggle of cases don't work. Try downgrading, that doesn't help. Shaking back, watering can, cooling molds. Uh, pick up nearby gravel whenever I'm sitting in water. Okay, so that, it doesn't work with bony soil apparently, well. You can suffer with me then. I don't think I can even pan this granite sand, right? Oh, I can. Panning is such a boring thing to do. 
So far, I haven't even gotten anything yet out of it. Luckily, it's no longer that you need to hold the mouse button down. That was the first time I tried this. I had to do it like that. I don't expect a whole lot to be added out of sand, but whatever. So far, I have nothing, so, you know. Oh, yay. Got a flint spear hat. Well, you know, I've got some native copper nuggets. As long as I click the block manually, it seems to pan automatically, but I just need, I do need to keep, hold on, if I just stop, okay, now it's working, weird. So yeah, this is auto panning. That's a flint arrowhead if I had has it to guess. Uh, I'm mostly gonna need a fuck ton of flax. Hey, lore book, that's good. Well, it also means we need to make a bookshelf. Okay, that is not great. It actually... <laughs> I was afraid it would do that. It starts panning the sand. Which I definitely don't want it to do. I'll let him finish this one and I'll turn it off. Uh, I would probably need to start panning near dirt. <laughs> uh, definitely don't want to start panning all the sand. It's a good moment when you normally like watch a movie or anything like that. Just finish this play, please. So we'll turn it off for now. Just so that it's it, the block is gone. Just finish that. I'll replace the blocks because it fucks with the water as well. And I'll uh, go sit next to some dirt while we pan out the uh, um, remaining bony soil. Right, let's grab it real fast. Checks in a five block radius, so let's just go and... Uh, Sit over there. Did we ever explore this cave? I, don't th I think I did. Don't think, if I remember correctly, did, this doesn't go anywhere. Oh, it just goes straight fucking down. Well, that means it does go somewhere, which I don't really want to go. Might be somebody out there that just looks at me and is like, what the fuck are you still trying to spelunk? Keep getting your ass handed to you. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know why, though. This is, uh, welcome to the most boring thing that you can do. So this should now work, right? It should auto pan. It automatically starts, it just doesn't pick up. I don't know what it is the... What causes it? I think we're good now. No. Weird. I don't know what causes it, but I got a couple of books, which is probably for the best. Am I interrupting something? It's now not panning, actually. So I don't need to manually start the panning. Yeah, I really have no clue. It just did it and then it just stopped working. It's, it's <laughs> rather strange. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll rate these, uh... Um... I might need to make sure you have it in your hand, so I can't do it during the panning. We'll read them afterwards. The only reason to do this is, is basically mostly for gears, something temporal gears and lore. Now you can sell these to some of the traders, mostly the luxury traders, I believe, buy them. But they're not worth it super much. But this is basically what goes into the lore of the game. And uh, 
what makes it so important. Um, and how this thing entirely works. Alright, it's just all tap, but it doesn't really keep going in the background. So, apparently... Okay, it's panning now. Still need to manually input a jump. Because I must stand in water to pan, okay. I don't know what exactly is causing it, but it's slightly weird. It's like it's looking for a certain detection which could trigger it every time you jump, but if you're too far into the water, it misses that. Oh, it might be if I extend here, will it then? I'm slightly too far in or something. Just trying anything to make this thing work automatically. I think I can't find the blocks or something. Oh, it's not working. Okay. <laughs> Still don't know what causes it to work or not work, but we at least have achieved auto panning. So you might, yeah, you, you kind of want to jump, jump in and out, aim far away maybe? I don't know what it is, but seems to be something not entirely working. I don't actually like the fact that he combined all of his mods into one big tweak mod and then just says like yeah, just configure it. I I, st I understand it from his perspective or her. I don't know. It's called Dana's tweaks, so it might be her. Um I understand it from the mod creator's perspective, but f as a user, um I don't necessarily want to use all of people of, of the mods, like the auto close, but I just want the auto panning. Yeah, I don't actually, I really don't know what's causing this to just stop working again. But okay, it's fine. There's nothing too interesting about panning anyway. It's and it's not. I'm planning like forty thousand blocks, in which it would be a lot more of a hassle. I actually, got an extra candle out of it. That's pretty good. Yeah, if I turn it on, I can save myself one click. Well, I think then Dana's mods tweaks is out of here, because it's literally, this is the only reason I want it. Just to speed up and automate some of the panning process, which I don't really find it interesting. Also, considering everything, like I shouldn't really be panning that much anymore anyway. Didn't get a whole lot out of it though, but two books, that's pretty good. We'll make a bookshelf, got a couple of flint arrowheads, a candle. Uh, let's replace that dirt. Uh, so we don't want this, I don't care for this that much, don't need the granite stone. Alright. Let's go, make a bookshelf. Uh, we can read the lore, we're, how many? we're 39 minutes in, okay. So if you don't want any spoilers, Probably shouldn't be watching <laughs> this anyway, but yeah. Um, so we discovered lore letters. And 
the confessions. I let these people here down into these hellish depths, gave them up to darkness and starvation like lambs to an altar. And for what? This monstrous creation? I fear to recognize it as my child. The common people look upon it as I thought it were salvation. As though it were salvation. As though it were God itself. And they see me as the Messiah. I walk amongst their halls and shelters, and I shudder at what remains of humanity. They dwell with filth and hunger. Civil services have collapsed under the long, unbearable weight of endeavor. These men and women have no means of rubbish disposal. Many of them have already been stricken by rot. If any other soul should wander through these dead dwellings, they would tear him apart with the ligaments in search of food, and yet... They by some power withstand their hunger when they gaze upon me. They weep for joy and offer me what meager supplies they have. Oh God, please help me. I'm still your faithful servant. Okay, that's not dark. Our food stocks are depleted. We've only dried wolf and rabbit meat left. Largely, we're left on chewing leather now. Our vests, our belts, our boots. We draw our last breaths. The huntman's corpse managed to trap two healthy squirrels and a grey gosling. Not more than ten hours ago, I'd wager. It was near, not nearly enough to feed all the workmen. The, the ones in the mines to be prioritized expected of their labor. Despite the additional meal, their health is declining. We're running out of options. Furthermore, Joseph, Barda, and Jarn were taken this day. They did not go willingly. The others might have a chance. I believe so, which for my own sake. So, yeah. Okay, well, that's some more... Yeah, there's a lot of dark lore uh, in this game, if you're really interested in it. Uh, definitely recommend it. There's some pretty cool stuff in there. Oh, I don't want to read that. I want to open a chest. Um, I need some more planksies. For that, I need a little bit of... There we go. Um, bop, boop, beep, ba boop. All right, cool. Mm, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Right. This is a nice open bookshelf. I'll drop the um, planks off. And we can start storing these books. And we'll, you know, write next to the door two of hopefully many more I keep chucking everything today what the hell's going on with me dear that's a panning ball dumbass that's not a food ball <laughs> brain rot setting in Right, sleep through the night. Hopefully, uh, get some more growth levels tomorrow. I don't think so. Well, that flax is ripe, man. It's got to be so much that we can do. Just waiting for a fucking plant to grow. Kind of sucks, to be honest. Um, let's clean up a little bit more. I'm gonna, I do. I'm super glad we're in summer, though. Like, so holy shit. Oh, wait, this is saltpeter. I thought this would be lime. Well then. Let's run over to the fields of blue. I will feed this saltpeter to... Yeah, so there's a lot of extra K that will uh, slowly release into the soil. So basically you see a percentage next to salt there. 43% that gets added onto it to until it's up, up to... Actually, apparently per stack changes. Oh, I might have double stacked some of them. That's fine. But yeah, we want to pump in some more. Oh man, we're going to get that helping hammer. Then we're going to grab all the iron. And we're going to make all of the iron blooms, which we're going to then smith into more iron goodies. And it's got to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah, so got some of them at seven already. 
Really can't really see the difference between six and seven. So I think two to three more days. I keep saying that like for the past three to four days. All right, I'll get another candle. Did we get this out of panning or was it one of the ones that we still had laying about? Nope, we got that out of panning. Let's see what we got over here. I don't think any of them are ready to harvest. Large, 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 poor, but they're populating, so that's pretty good. Right, so that's all the business on the farm done. These are flowering. You took, that's good. You died, that's a shame. The other two took as well, nice. That's good. So these are also flowering, that's great. Any clue when this... Flowering is for about three but two days. Okay. These are still growing. Well, that's pretty good. Pretty geardy. Stack that in there. Oh god, I hate those doors closing on me. It fucking creeps me the fuck out. Uh, let's uh, clean this mess up. I haven't really had a lot of rain though. That's kind of interesting. Considering that this place used to do a whole lot of rain. Pack dirt. What do you use it? Because it floats. That genuinely is the reason I got so much pack dirt always on me. Can't really do anything without it. Right, I don't need the gravel, so I'm going to chuck that in a hole where I don't need it. Okay, that hasn't grown either. Aliyit, there we go. Right. There's a lot of bricks. Take, it's super easy to make these, by the way. You just, it's just a, for like uh, the clay, stack it like that and you get a stack. I somewhat thought I had more, but that's fine. Okay, so now we're gonna make eight of those. And Let's start placing these and lining them up. We can probably put these outside as well. I don't think I really need them inside. So. <laughs> now we can do all of the iron in here. And, okay. I hope you can feed these from two sides. I think you can. Otherwise we'll break them, it's fine. Let's see, one, I definitely did not want to hit shift there. That's fine. Um. think I'll be fine. Got some bricks remaining anyway, so I need four more. I hit shift because I wanted to automatically um, uh, put it in my infant, like into the hot bar like this, where I'm shift clicking between the uh, the tools, for example. Right, so still so have got some clay fire brick remaining, but that's a large amount. This is, by the way, just still contains some couple of blooms because I don't really need that to be done right now. I got some more clay fire bricks that I can put into here. Um, right, we'll put that over there. I, can, I think I have a chest that contains more wood items. Yeah, there you go. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. 
There we go, that can go. Nope, I don't want to shift click these. I wanted to put them in my hotbar. So the chest open. Uh, yeah. That can go into the bone chest. The fact that that's a thing is kind of morbid, but that is, we're, we're gonna just, you know, grind them all and other stuff. Um, there we go. Just need three more sheets. Technically, like two more sheets. Nearly two. And then we can run the entire thing here. Um, yes, that's running. Right. Uh, charcoal. We've got all of our charcoal now. Oh, I don't think I can add fuel in yet because I need to get all the iron nuggets in first. That's fine. Uh, that's not, I don't know what the ch symbol for charcoal is, but that is not it. <laughs> hmm. Maybe because it already has a symbol, I can't override it. It's fine. Uh, so that's all set up, that's all set up. Yeah, but just literally fucking flax, man. Next episode, for 100% sure, we are going to... Um, just do flax. And we're gonna see if we can get a little bit out of the depths there. Um... There we go. Because I kind of want to explore a little bit further and see if we can get any saltpeter. How's my armor doing? It's completely fucked. You know what? Never mind. Um, it's just... I got three shot with armor, so it feels mostly like I'm wasting a crap ton of materials by going down there without any proper protection. Um, so, there. Let's not do that then. And I need to make a proper shield as well. There we go. Um, yeah, so this one's going to be a little bit shorter. Next one, we'll have the flax to be ready. And then we we'll start the industrial revolution that we were looking for. Not the bees. Look at them being awesome. Yes. So, uh, yeah. Because this is now a little bit fertilized, so that should increase its growth speed at least a little bit. And, um, yeah, I don't think there's really a good way to get large amounts of saltpeter anyway. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to thank you guys for watching. See you for the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.